Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hostel League quarterfinals, bottom right and corner. We got Urbmon starting as the red Zerg, bottom left and corner. They've done a great job choosing colors, by the way. Orange Terran, bottom left and corner. We have I Love XTO. This is going to be on Circuit Breaker. I do want to give a side announcement on my other YouTube channel, Brain Food Enneagram. I've got two videos up there. If you want to check it out, please do. This, I presume, hypes you up and makes you feel good if you need to calm down, though. I just put up a meditation and an explanation based on the typing system as to why I think it works, which I'm proud of, but we'll see if it actually takes off or gets any sort of views along that uh, sort of line. I got some sidelong positive feedback from someone else, actually, uh, tangentially, but I'll, this is brood war. Not that. Check it out if you want to. Circuit Breaker, fun map. Uh, I'm not sure if I ever did the preview of this. It's got kind of the, the ramp system where you can create, you can see where Clogs of Medic Marines work pretty well against Ultra Select game, but at the same time, like Lurker Defiler can push through that. I'm wondering if that actually causes people to go more Lurker Defiler on this map. Large ramp over a mineral only third. And if you're grabbing a gas, it's either at the six o'clock, the three o'clock, or the nine o'clock, which also has kind of this split mineral thing going on. So you got to be a little bit careful with your drone split. You can't just move them to a pile and then assume it's going to be okay. Uh, Got to make sure that they're going to the proper places and wag your finger. Things, excuse me, things along those lines. It is a four player map. But I think because of the difficulty of grabbing that third gas, it does, or kind of the 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 weirdness of the third gas is more what I want to say. Like the fact that it's so far out, inverted ramp, etc. It allows a little bit more turn aggression, I would argue. Like because you can plant like a little, like small pockets here and then just really assail this. Um, and so I'm wondering if it forces Zerg to just play a little bit more aggressively in the early mid game. Anyway, side musings. The problem is, is like for all of my part, it's almost entirely speculation because I, I watch, I don't, I'm not like a confessional here. I'm not like a superb Starcraft player. I don't have time to grind the ladder. Wish I did or the spare stress to do it. So instead I got to do it kind of off like caster caster brain and all the games that I've seen. So it's kind of like one of those anyway. And then when you get to the players, it's never entirely clear. It's like, okay, is this a legitimate thing going on? Or is it just like Terran or Protoss or whatever bias? And they're like, ah, oh, this map. Anyway, looks like we are seeing the Marine before expansion, a little bit safer from XTO. We are seeing look like an over, I think this was an over uh, the same build game one over pool, but it looks like we're seeing fast circling speed being upgraded. And again, that might be for factors that I already mentioned. SCVs check top left. It's making its way top right. The Zerglings are going to have to do the scouting in the meantime. Let's see if they go cross position to the upper left hand corner. Initially making their way. They actually, unfortunately, with the SCV timing. So, yeah, Exio finds nothing. So, he's going to have to do the full, full scout. Two Zerglings splitting off both directions. We are seeing a bunker being built on the low ground. Which is that. So, we got the two Marines out, a bunker. And Ermon going to discover. The Mucker, as well as the two Marines on the ramp. So going to go ahead and peel back. I do. Let's see if he's diligent again, because this is an Overlord currently not in position. Oh, I didn't think about this. Is it this? If you move the Zerglings well, you can get a little bit more informational blockade. Unfortunately, Urban not able to capitalize on the ramps right there. Right the second pocketing two Zerglings to the corner. It looked like he is going for a Zergling run by Flood. And right now, trying to hide the additional Zerglings from XTO. So this could very well surprise XTO. So look at all these, yeah. So look at all these Zerglings starting to group up. And I'm not sure how many, that was really diligent on <coughs> Urban to hide them and sneak them around the corner. So he's gonna see a normal layer timing or close to normal layer, layer timing. There is a lot of cruft on the front, but these Zerglings can, they've got a lot of room to sprint. So they might be able to go all the way around. Engaging right this second. Initially turning around. Are they going to go for it? It looks like they are going to group and attack the bunker. Several Marines die and Urban exiting. So got a couple Marine kills. Not able to clear it out. Nice defense from XTO. Not able to get the run by as well. Only a single barracks up though. Refinery. So I'm wondering that if this was turning into the... Yeah, it was eBay first racks. And oftentimes that is vulnerable to this sort of play. Urban going for a second shot. This time three Zerglings able to get in the main. And with only one barracks production, that's going to hurt. The Zerglings working on the gas lines initially, trying to disrupt that. 
They are going to be able to kill that SCV to delay that academy. Four Zerglings, another Zergling able to sneak in as the barracks was evacuated. So two Marines now dead in the main and three Zerglings remain. There's nothing in that. There's one Marine now making their way into the bunker and SCV's dying. Great early game. And also that gas delayed. And we got that Spire just about finished. So now XTO going to be light on Marines, going to be light on tech, potentially. Still hasn't built that second barracks up, so he's going to have to overproduce turrets, potentially. The Zerdling's working on that academy. A Marine being forced to wander out. <coughs> two additional barracks being dropped. I wonder if he's going to stick at two instead of the usual transition to five because of everything that happened. That Zergling, I believe... No, it still survives! With a sliver of health, finally gets taken out. Two SCVs off the line to repair. Comsat station getting built. Does Urban, he has the drone pocketed top right. Honestly, after all that damage... I don't know that he needs to go with a Mutalisk Assault at all. This is a bit of a mistake here. Didn't need that Creep Colony either. Instead, he's going to drop that keep Creep Colony preventatively. He had full eyes that the, the Marine count is extremely low and the XTO is in no position to maybe just reflexive. Potentially, but it looks like he is only building a single Mutalisk. And honestly, this is kind of a clever play. I honestly think that what Urban could do here is skip initial Mutalisks here go very, very rapidly to Hive if he wanted to, and go from there. It looks like he maybe missed a little bit of macro cycle, still sitting at the 21 drones. He's going to have that third base up comfortably. It looks like he's opting for the top right rather than the 3 o'clock base. A little bit more distance. Fourth barracks coming online. Plus one weapons, about halfway finished, and range just starting. So the Mutalisks are delayed. Evolution Chamber getting dropped, interestingly enough. And yeah, I think Urban can definitely, he's definitely put himself in a position where he can skip early Hydralisks. And he is just currently just playing it defensively. If he just still might want to move up just to look at the Medic Marines as they're coming out and maybe get a little bit of harassment along the way. Thank you for the raid, by the way, to Jiraiya. Who I believe is still active. I'm trying to think if Jiraiya is still in it as of this stage of things. Evolution Chamber dropped. I've casted Jiraiya games as part of Hasu League, so go back and give him some love if you haven't already. Fourth Barracks and a Factory now dropping. Factory still in pretty decent timing. I think this is more Mutalisks than Urban potentially needed. Moving up, XTO playing it defensively at this stage. There is a Medic kind of stranded amongst the... I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but the Medic able to get a little bit of repair on the SCVs, which is forcing Urban to get the perfect shots off to get kills. So nice, kind of clever maneuver right there. And a taxation, I haven't seen that before. That's that's risky, but it's it's really uh, really clever. It looks like that gas is getting grabbed top right. I think Urban recognizing, <coughs> excuse me, that he's got things in a really, really strong position, starting to move in. I don't know if he's gotten a look at the barracks count and has recognized it's just sitting at four. Four about halfway between that supply depot accidentally taking some attack damage from XDO. Starport along the way. That seems like it came out a little bit later than usual. For the feeling of it. <coughs> Compared to the, uh, the factory timing. It looks like we do have double starport getting dropped. But that third gas already on the way. And Hive Tech well on the way. So Urban as far as the tech curve, is looking solid. Grouping of Mutalisks there. XTO, this is the other nice thing is with these ramps for Zerg, is, is you can really abuse, you can see the bridge split is just abusive. Just abusive. So yeah, Zerg has to play more aggressively on this map, but they get some favors, and Urban just carving this army apart. The medics will make it, some of the medics might make it home. But the rest of this army just obliterated. And things are now looking grim for XDO. Smothering attack right now for Urban. It looks like he's pumping out another range of Mutalisks. Not sure he needed to do so with this timing. Maybe could have saved that gas a little bit. But we got double control tower. That science facility about halfway finished. They're still going to be actually effective here. So ignore me, Urban dropping an Ultralisk Cavern, recognizing he's in a really healthy gas scenario. He honestly, as the situation is looking with these additional Mutalisks and the lack of XTO pressure that he can apply, he could easily take that top right fourth 
without a lot of trouble here. It's kind of the Tau of Zerg is knowing when you can grab this stuff, but he doesn't need to overcommit at the same time. More Mutalists striving forward. Man, he might be able to end the game right here with some micro. It looks like three turrets now in the natural expansion, so maybe he doesn't want to dive into that. A six, fac uh, six barracks being dropped. Starport right there, that factory. Erdman just attacking what he can in an open field. We already have Adrenal Upgrades, Ultral's Cavern finishing, and this is before the... Uh, Again, Urban recognizing his advantageous position. This is before the Defiler Mound. I had to search for it for a second. I'm like, that thing that allows you to build the other thing. The thing that lets you build the thing. Marine's getting picked off. Still getting picked off in the front. XTO hasn't been able to get any sort of purchase here out on the front. Urban just completely abusing this. Still irradiate... Feels like XTO has been pretty good about getting his factory timing down, but hasn't been as good about the follow-up timings as far as getting the irradiates with the science vessels out. Now a science vessel is actually exposed. Irradiates not there. It might die before irradiates able to uh, to drop, and so loses a free science vessel out in the front. And now XTO is crumbling. Fourth base now grabbed from Urban. So six barracks humming, two additional science vessels being built, but honestly, he's going to have ultralisks in his face very, very rapidly. Five ultralisks already queued up alongside from Urban. That's how gas efficient he's been in the space of this. Has that Nidus up as well as dropped a macro hatch. Might have been able to drop that Nidus at the natural with the timing of everything. But Urban in firm control now of this match overall, although the how are the upgrades doing? Looks like he just queued that up. Plus one weapons, plus one armor this time for XDO. He's got the science... Well, does he have the science vessels? Okay, the science vessels starting to eke out. Let's see if they can provide some forward positioning irradiates. Urban with the ultralisks he has in the background doesn't need to play aggressive. He can just utilize those for forward defense. Still maybe wanting to abuse the bridge line. He's, on the, he's got some scourge mixed in with the mutalisks. Well cloaked and that science vessel isn't with that marine grouping and they're getting spread out once again and Urban is feasting on these medic marine armies just finding the pockets of spread out grouping and absolutely abusing what's left are the ultralists going to be able to get through the nidus to top right is the next question are they going to be there in time we got a whole lot of them looks like they're starting to run on the low ground a radiate is dropped nice dodge right there to keep that science vessel alive the rest of the mutalists have been Wiped out, but man, were they worth their weight in... I want to say gold, but... And gas isn't very heavy. Is there something heavy? Worth their weight in Ultralisks. As the Ultralisks surround this Medic Marine army, XDO has got nothing accomplished. Has just gotten smothered by Urban all game long. <laughs> he does have at least the Science Vessels up in the air and gotten a Radiate off on one of them. The medics have been obliterated. He's trying to move out to grow ahead and grab that mineral only. Urban fielding some additional scourge. He has a defiler mound out and honestly, okay, yeah, this is where the things can, the bridges start working in uh, Terran's favor a little bit. You can plug it up, but oh my goodness, some scourge able to find their way around away from the army and get some solid kills. We have some drop ships up and the game can shift very, very rapidly. With some sneaky drop ships. There's an Overlord, but that's not covering vision across the lower six o'clock. Let's see if Urban spots it. That's in full view of this Overlord, but XTO wanting to go anyway. The Ultralisks need to get back into the main. This could be a lot of dead tech and a counter <coughs> split attack making its way top right as well. Scourge landing, able to wipe everything out but a Marine. An Overlord mid map going to give forward alert for the attack top right. Sunken Colony going to upgrade behind that. And the Ultralisks that I think have been the same Ultralisks since the beginning. Going to be a good position to make something happen. We have a drone hiding top left. It wants to grab that. A Mutalist is going to spot that army moving in top left. XEO, yeah, just being redirected. That Ultralisk that was irradiated earlier, just kind of hanging out, providing some vision. Basically working as a big old Zergling. And he's going to be able to join up with his brothers once again. Potentially with the warm embrace of machine gun fire in a second here. Wonder if that just makes Ultralisks warm. It's like they're cold all the time and they just like 
the bullets hitting them, and it's like, ah, nice swarm feeling. In the meantime, with all of these medic marines at the 12 o'clock location, double sunkens but no lurker support here at the 12 o'clock, the ultras need to get back to top right. Maybe the medic marine army wanting to get some dropship support, but it looks like some additional dropships making their way secondary drop, and this time it looks like it's going to land. This is why you can never count Terran out. That's dropped, but a simultaneously dr simultaneous drop in the main is going to be able to pick up that Ultralisk Cavern and potentially the Evolution Chamber and the Defiler Mound as well. So big damage, and Urmon still having some trouble dealing with the attack that managed to sneak up. So he's going to, yeah, now moving back and spotting, is going to lose these Evolution Chambers, although it doesn't look like they're upgrading anything. The Defiler Mound going to die. That's going to delay Plague. Looks like he might be able to save the Defiler Mound, but... That is going to slow Urbmon down. And so Axio finding breathing room in this match. About equal on supply down and workers. Scourge chasing after those dropships to at least eliminate that threat. However, the damage already done. Working on the Spire as well. Man, those Marines really got bonus done there. Urbmon resaturating, but he's also taking top left. We got more dropships moving out. This time they're going to go top right. Have an Ultralisk there. A Hydralisk den being dropped. It looks like a, a lot of tech getting dropped. A second to Spire, which actually is not needed in this scenario. But the Ultralisks having trouble finding targets right this second. So, XDO doing a great job, actually. Oh, Overlord's going to spot the dropships, making their way to the natural expansion. Are the Zerglings going to be there? We do have a Defiler and Zergling there in position. A few drones getting picked off. Keep in mind, and at the secondary attack making their way top right, we also have a split of troops. Top left, Axio playing like a Zerg player right now, trying to be everywhere at once. But we have Ultralists that are looking for a counterattack. They're going to be able to shut down the mineral only. So Urban sacking the natural expansion here, bottom left. The Defiler and Ultralist not going to be there in time to save that base, but he's also diving in. He's saying, okay, I think you're overextending. I'm just going to dive into your natural. And there's a Defiler right there to drop some swarm as well. However, the Ultralists need to get working on actually attacking things right now. They're running around in the Dark Swarm. And it looks like the Ultralists and Zerglings are going to be able to hold top right. The hatchery's still alive. Exio maybe needs to ignore this for a half second and target down that hatchery. He is going to be able to take out top left as well. Creep Colony lately getting dropped. So there's chaos absolutely everywhere, but that chaos right now is favoring Zerg. SCV's trying to fight for their lives. That Ultralist has 18 kills. Are you kidding me? Right this second. So we got Five Ultralisks and a Defiler here at the Natural. That base has been taken out top right. More Zerglings starting to stream and should be able to clean that up. Urmon might be in a little bit of trouble here, actually. I still think he's in the advantageous going to win this position, but if Exio can somehow defend his bases here bottom left, right now his main's been pretty hit pretty hard. He had some drone hits there at the Natural, and he... Well, I guess he's at these three bases and fine, so ignore that. Urban's in fine position. He should win this match from here. Ultralist in the natural expansion is usually a game win. But Exio still trying to fight it out. Looks like he's relanded at the mineral only. SCVs are making that way. Some Ultras being drawn that direction. Exio looks like he is going to be able to clear out. But the natural's gone. His main is mined out. And Ultralists are attacking his one mining base. His SCV count is plummeting and the supply not looking that great either. I think the dropships are trying to load up what they can. This might be a, a fake position we have the medic marine army that was out there earlier or sorry just marine army that was out there earlier maybe wanting to take another shot top right hatchery being redropped top right urban with the 30 supply lead just needs to macro up behind all this and start pressing out and claiming but this, these four drop tips are actually pretty scary for urban they're getting loaded up immediately and that could be a significant drop to slow Urbmon down once again. And if the problem for XDO is he needs to cap an additional base, build more SCVs, and still have a standing army while applying pressure. And that's a tall order. The Marines starting to make their way bottom left. If Urbmon's on top of it and drops a single Defiler Dark Swarm, that, yeah, that should be defend. Single drone gets killed, which is a slight delay, but honestly not that big a deal. The dropships have been spotted, making their way across the 6 o'clock. But does Urbmon respond? Does he see them? Looks like he does see them responding rapidly. He's got some, uh, at least some Scourge waiting, but not enough Dark Swarm. The problem with these dropship is, is they unload just a little bit at a time with that Adrenal upgrade. Those Medic Marines end up dying very, very rapidly. Get rid of that so you can see the action here. So the units 
not providing a lot. It looks like a Dark Swarm faded, but an Ultralisk is going to be there to clean up what's left. And I think that is it for XDO. That armor, that with that army cleaned up top right, <coughs> he has no additional options to be aggressive, and he's got a dwindling bank. He's, he just cannot replenish that army. So it looks like he somehow eked out two battle cruisers. How did he do that? So he's got two battle cruisers out here. <coughs> but the medic marine army strung out, running into the ultralisks once again. No weapons upgrade on them, but they do have that plus five plating. A drone finally finding the 12 o'clock location. It looks like that three o'clock location's been grabbed. Kind of, I guess, part of the <coughs> difficulty of holding the additional bases has been somewhat advantageous for XDO here in the late game. And has kept him alive just through the chaos. So Medic Marines slowly making their way towards the top. The Battlecruiser trying to defend the reinforcements as they're making their way out. Urban grabbing top left as well. But this is still too many, in my opinion, too many Ultralisks. My opinion should be fact. Oh, with that plague. That was a beautiful plague right on the edge as well. And that's going to be GG from XTO. And we're going to move on to game three. Urban up 2-0. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give these guys some love, by the way, on their, their Twitch channels. Thank you. And also Jiraiya who gave me the raid. Thank you, Jiraiya. Thank you guys for listening.